conservative writer John Nolte penned an op-ed for Breitbart, and I don't really know how to even describe this other than to call it a banger, because this is the most absurd op-ed I have ever read, and I'm not being hyperbolic. Like, we're talking the dumbest thing ever written that was published in a major outlet. So I don't even really need to give you that much setup. I think you're going to see why on its face, this argument is insane. So he writes, in a country where elections are decided on razor thin margins, does it not benefit one side if their opponents simply drop dead? Starting off strong. Uh, if I wanted to use reverse psychology to convince people not to get a life-saving vaccination, I would do exactly what Howard Stern and the left are doing. I would bully and taunt and mock and ridicule you for not getting vaccinated, knowing the human response would be, hey, fuck you, I'm never getting vaccinated. And why is that a perfectly human response? Because no one ever wants to feel like they are being bullied or ridiculed or mocked or pushed into doing anything. Who wants to cave to a piece of shit like Howard Stern or Jimmy Kimmel or these repulsive doctors for refusing to treat the unvaccinated or Bette Midler or 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 who wants to feel like they're caving to a guy who's such a piece of shit he publicly mocks people who have died and he's not just a piece of shit for mocking them he's a piece of shit hurting the families the dead men left behind. He's talking about anti-vax radio hosts that died from COVID-19. No one wants to cave to a piece of shit like that or a scumbag like Fauci or any of these scumbags at CNN LOL. So we don't. And what's the result? They're all vaccinated and we're not. And when you look at the numbers, the only numbers that matter, which is who's dying, it's overwhelmingly the unvaccinated who are dying and they have just manipulated millions of their political enemies into the unvaccinated camp. Wow. So in other words, because you're telling us to get vaccinated, knowing how petulant we are, that's essentially reverse psychology and really to make us not be vaccine hesitant, Democrats should be telling us not to get vaccinated. I mean, is this not a tacit admission that your side is petulant and emotionally unstable and immature and just stupid overall? You're essentially arguing that my side is too stupid to look at the facts and we're going to make an emotional response and knowing how emotional we are, really leftists and liberals and public officials, local local governments, they should have kept that in mind and they should have told us to not get vaccinated because then we'd try to spite them and we would get vaccinated. I just, I, I don't really understand what your overall argument is. You're mad that Democrats and public officials are pushing the vaccines because your side is stupid. I mean, what do you want me to say to this? What do you want me to say to this? I'm sorry that your side is too petulant. I'm sorry that your side bases their entire political ideology on owning the libs, and they won't even do something that's in their own best interest. But I don't know what the expectation is here. If you truly want your side to not be stupid, maybe write an article where rather than blaming the libs or public health officials, you blame your side for not doing more to promote vaccinations. Blame your side, Tucker Carlson, right-wing media outlets, for lying to people about how safe and effective these vaccines are. Why aren't you blaming Donald Trump for not promoting vaccines more stringently? I mean, when he tried to promote the vaccines, he got booed. His own supporters booed him for daring to tepidly endorse vaccines. So that says more about you and your crowd than it does about anyone else. It says that you're too emotionally immature to be grown-ups. And I I'm sorry, but you being man babies, that doesn't mean that we should like try to play 3D chess to get you to do what's in your best interest, which is obvious to most responsible adults. Should we baby Republicans more? Like I, I just don't know what the implications of this article are. What does he want? What does he expect? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I mean, yes, I, I agree with the premise that Republicans are basically adult babies, but we shouldn't promote misinformation so that way they try to do the opposite of what we want them to do, we being responsible adults. They should just look at the real information, stop getting their news from Facebook and Fox News, and just do what common sense dictates they should do. But of course, 
They're not going to do that. And this dumb fuck is going to blame everyone else rather than them. And, you know, one thing that you might be wondering is, well, if it's really the case that public health officials and the Democratic Party just wants Trump supporters to die, wouldn't they not support vaccine mandates? And he has an answer for that. He says the push for mandates is another ploy to get us to dig in and not do what's best for ourselves because no one wants to feel like they're caving to a mandate. OK, well, then, I mean, I, I just I don't know what to tell you. We try to tell you to take the vaccines. We then try to force you to take the vaccines and you don't like any of that. So. I mean, I, I, just, I don't know what you want. Yes, I, I agree with you. Your side is dumb. But there's not much more that we can do to help you out. Maybe you should be looking in the mirror. Maybe your party, maybe right wingers should be a little bit introspective and try to figure out ways to stop being so reactionary and actually not be anti-science at every step of the way in every aspect of life. He adds, I could be wrong. Maybe the left isn't that evil and sly. Even if this isn't the left's plan, who's owning who? I mean, the mere fact that during a pandemic, when you're having this serious conversation about vaccines and people who are dying, you're even talking about who is or isn't being owned. That alone shows how petulant and stupid your side is. And I don't want to use too many ad hominems, right? But I mean, it's true. Like you're, you're literally admitting how stupid and petulant your side is. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. If you acknowledge that there's a problem if you know that the vaccines are actually safe and effective and really it's the unvaccinated who are dying why would your first instinct be to blame the people who are promoting vaccines shouldn't you target the individuals who are spreading the disinformation that's leading to deaths of your side shouldn't you look at tucker carlson and republican party officials anti-maskers anti-vaxxers I mean, they have no shame. Even when they happen to be right about vaccines, they still come up with some batshit justification for their side's overall stupidity. It's just, it's gross. Look, here's the thing. I know people who are vaccine hesitant, and even if I disagree with them, even if they're fucking insanely stubborn and they're insufferable, I don't want them to die. These are friends. These are family members. Believe it or not, not everyone is out to get you right? Not everyone is trying to win one over on the other side or own the other side. Some of us just want you to take the vaccine because we don't want you to die. I mean, it's a big country. Odds are every single person watching this knows at least one person who's not vaccinated. So maybe it's the case that out of the goodness of our fucking hearts, we just want you to get vaccinated so you don't fucking die. But to him, to this dumb fuck, he sees this as some 3d move so ultimately we convince you to not get vaccinated by telling you to get vaccinated because we're trying to use reverse psychology on you <sighs> yeah it's just um i don't know what else to say about this I, I think that on its face this argument is absolutely irrational and absurd he's not looking within he's not looking to the failures of his party and his ideology and their anti-science anti-intellectual behavior He's still blaming Democrats and everyone else.